The immense size combined with an intricate, large crest and formidable physical attributes cements the Empress as an unparalleled figure within the Xenomorph casts. And the only one that an Empress bows down to is the Queen Mother, the leader of all Xenomorphs across the universe. The creation of an Empress is as intriguing as her role in the Hive and the way she maintains the Hive, forcing Xenomorph queens to live together. Such is the power in an Empress's command that Xenomorphs from different hives who would otherwise kill each other, learn to coexist. In this video, we will explore everything there is to explore about the Xenomorph Empresses, including their creation, biology, purpose, and role. Let's not delay this thrill any longer. Before we get into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Empress Xenomorph Explored You know, when we say queen, it could mean that she's the king's wife and that she may not necessarily be the one who rules, but the word empress paints an entirely different picture. The first thought that comes to mind is that of a woman sitting on a throne and ruling, but that's just what we think of. Your opinions may obviously differ, and something similar is the deal with all empresses in the alien society. Honestly, it's weird to use the word society with these biometallic beasts. Anyway, let's dive deeper into the this magnificent creature. The Empress occupies a significant role within the hierarchy of the Xenomorphs. This formidable creature, characterized by advanced age and enhanced strength, assumes the responsibility of not only fulfilling the conventional duties of a queen, but also governing and maintaining order among multiple queens within an expansive hive. Functioning as the esteemed High Queen or Queen of Queens, the Empress safeguards the harmony and organization of Xenomorph caste when a hive grows sufficiently large to accommodate multiple queens. The emergence of an empress within a hive can be traced back to intense competitions that arise among the coexisting queens. When one queen manages to vanquish her formidable opponent, either physically or psychically, she ascends to the position of empress. However, it is important to note that even the empresses themselves acknowledge the authority of the queen mother, the ultimate ruler presiding over all xenomorphs across the universe. Regrettably, due to their limited portrayal in the aliens and Alien vs. Predator franchise, the Empresses remain shrouded in mystery, with scant information available about their characteristics and attributes. Nevertheless, historical accounts suggest that these commanding figures have been known to assimilate smaller neighboring xenomorph hives into their ranks, driven by their shared instinct to expand the xenomorph species. Among the relatively few known Empresses, one of them became relatively famous through their appearance in the Alien vs. Predator 2 video games. This particular Empress was birthed on the planet LV-1201 and commanded Xenomorph forces across the entire planet. However, the Empress's reign was not a bed of roses. She was captured by Weyland yutani under the leadership of Dr. Eisenberg. In a desperate attempt to escape the Xenomorph's relentless pursuit, she was subjected to a series of transports throughout the planet. Yet, against all odds, the Empress was eventually liberated by an unnamed Xenomorph, who aided her in exacting revenge upon Dr. Dr. Eisenberg. How a Xenomorph Queen Becomes Empress The process by which a Xenomorph Queen transforms into an Empress is still a subject of speculation and ongoing research. However, it's been proposed that an Empress emerges as her hive expands, with her physical size proportionally increasing alongside the growth of the hive itself. Contrary to popular belief, the presence of other queens within the hive doesn't seem to be a prerequisite or an indispensable condition for the transformation into an Empress, but it's still the most favorable condition for the birth of an empress. In fact, the coexistence of multiple queens typically leads to violent confrontations, resulting in the victorious queen eliminating her rival siblings through lethal means. Notably, the existence of an empress within a hive curbs the development of Praetorians into queens, acting as an inhibiting factor. Conversely, the absence of an empress is believed to stimulate the development of queens from Praetorian xenomorphs, as postulated by the theory of competitive discourse. 
the empress might permit the development of queens from her own praetorians, who would be considered her subordinate offspring rather than direct competitors. In instances where smaller xenomorph hives are assimilated, the empress may choose to conquer the resident queens rather than exterminate them, further expanding her dominion. Alternatively, an empress could potentially arise from an existing group of coexisting queens, which sometimes display peaceful cohabitation, and on occasion even share the same egg chamber. Within such groups, one of the queens may undergo further maturation to ascend to the position of empress, while the remaining queens assume subordinate roles. Why is the War Empress created? An intriguing variant within the Empress cast is the War Empress. Unlike the conventional Empress, the emergence of a War Empress is triggered not by hive growth, but by the presence of a hostile host species, leading to a full-scale conflict between the Xenomorph Hive and its adversaries. As a response to these circumstances, the Xenomorphs adapt, and the War Empress represents one of the several adaptations employed to achieve dominance in combat. The War Empress closely resembles a standard queen in most aspects, albeit with a mesoskeleton that exhibits 70% greater resilience than her previous form. This enhanced exoskeletal structure renders her capable of deflecting most projectiles, barring exceptionally heavy munitions. Additionally, the War Empress develops distinct green-yellow markings on her crest and possesses an elongated stinger. Furthermore, she possesses the unique ability to instill a battle frenzy within her offspring, intensifying their already formidable combat prowess. It should be noted, however, that the certain pure xenomorph casts, such as Praetorians, Ravagers, and Carriers, remain unaffected by this battle frenzy. A similar adaptation, known as the Warrior Queen, has also been observed in xenomorphs. In response to sustaining significant damage, a queen can undergo a process of maturation and molt into a Warrior Queen. This transformation equips the Warrior Queen with enhanced capabilities, allowing her to better withstand and retaliate against threats. Physical and biological appearance of Empress Xenomorph Empresses bear a striking resemblance to their queen counterparts, at least as far as physical appearance is concerned. However, they exhibit several notable differentiating characteristics, solidifying their status as massive and intimidating creatures, even for other xenomorphs. In terms of size, Empresses often surpass all other xenomorph casts potentially even matching the Queen Mother herself. Their imposing stature, coupled with their formidable attributes, is indispensable as they are born to rule over Xenomorph Queens. They have sleek black exoskeleton and boast an exceptionally resilient mesoskeleton, rendering them highly resistant to external threats. They possess a primary set of arms, much like a standard queen, while also exhibiting a secondary set of arms that appear to be more developed in comparison to many observed queens. Nevertheless, it's the head crest that serves as the primary distinguishing feature of the empress and sets her apart from the queens. The crest is composed of two layers, with the first layer having a glossy appearance and the under layer having a broader, duller texture. We can't stress enough on her prodigious size. Reaching proportions comparable to those of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Empress can grow even larger. The most standard of these devastating beauties stand as tall as 20 feet and measure up to 40 feet in length when we take the tail into consideration. It's worth noting that the majority, if not all, Empresses tend to gravitate toward the larger end of the size spectrum. In contrast, the average height of a queen alien typically ranges around 15 feet. What is the purpose of the Empress Xenomorph in the Hive? Once again, there's quite a bit of similarity between the Empress and a Queen, as far as their role within a Hive is concerned. Furthermore, they exhibit similar motivations and intelligence while carrying out their day job of maintaining the Hive. While Empresses share a sense of self-preservation within their brood, their inclination toward personal survival is more pronounced, and they may sometimes sacrifice their role as the primary egg layer of the Hive. So, in situations where a choice must be made 
divided between their own well-being and that of their offspring, empresses prioritize their own self-preservation. Another characteristic of empresses is their potential to coexist within a single territory alongside multiple queens and to make the queens stay alongside each other, who would otherwise tend to murder their counterparts. In fact, drones of one hive tend to be extremely hostile against the drones of another hive, but under the command of an empress, they live like one big happy family. The presence of multiple queens likely serves the purpose of expanding the brood, as increasing the size of the xenomorph population is a fundamental objective, which is as deeply embedded within the species as hunting is for the predators. So basically, with each queen granted authority over their own respective hives, the empress assumes a position of rule over several hives, as well as multiple queens. Lastly, the empress serves as an intermediary stage between a queen and a queen mother. Survival. Marvelous verdict. While the empresses may come off as extremely formidable and intimidating creatures, they can be bested with enough firepower. But then again, we think it would be amazing to see an empress in a live action movie, especially in her hive, being served by other queens. But we're not entirely sure what the future of the alien universe is now that Disney has taken over the franchise. But Prey was a promising movie, not perfect, but promising. What do you think? And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. After I was rescued, the doctor said I couldn't survive, that I was too badly burned.